Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a fragrance and flavor enthusiast. Here on my channel, we mostly explore fragrances, but I sometimes like to throw in other content here and there just for fun. Before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that has viewed, liked, commented, shared, and subscribed. So today we're gonna get a little hypothetical. <laughs> and basically I wanna share fragrances with you that I would personally take with me on a beach vacation or like a tropical getaway. Now, yes, I live in the Bahamas, right? So a lot of people come here to experience that, but let's just pretend that I was maybe, let's say I'm just going to another island in the Bahamas or like I'm going to like a further away destination. I have some scents that I wanna share with you from my collection, which are the ones I will most likely bring with me. And there's quite a few, cause I have a perfume, a fragrance mist and an oil in all the categories. Yes, categories. <laughs> of fragrances that I would potentially bring with me. Now, I, you know, I, I, I figure I probably would end up like sizing down a little bit, you know, be a little responsible and just only bring a few scents. But if I had the option, I think these would be the ones that I would bring with me. So let's get into it. So the first category is citrus. So for me, I'm thinking I would want a citrus scent with me just for something uplifting. Maybe if I want to wake up a little bit earlier in the morning, even though I'm on vacation, but I want a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a jolt. I typically reach for citrus fragrances to give me that. And also I feel like uh, just in a warmer climate, like a citrusy kind of scent just kind of like vibes and it also kind of just smells summery and hot to me <laughs> so the i guess what order am i doing this in i guess we could do let's do fragrance mist perfume then oil let's do it in that order so the citrus fragrance i the, blah, blah. so the citrus fragrance mist i would bring with me is sun wash citrus this is kind of like a duh this is how far i Ooh, I'm almost halfway done. That is impressive. But yeah, this is one that I really enjoy pulling. It's like a lemony, citrusy scent that is so sweet, but not like cloying or anything like that. Just enough sweetness to like cut into the citrus where it doesn't smell like too masculine to my nose. But I feel like this would be, definitely would bring this one because this is one I could see me like, I would probably still want to work out on vacation, right? I could see me bringing this because like, let's say I have to wake up early because there's an excursion and I'm going on and I'm like, okay, I gotta go to the gym. But I would spray this and I would feel a lot better. <laughs> so the perfume that I would bring that's citrusy in nature is Amalfi Sunray and this is from Sara Emotions. And this is one that features orange blossom. Pretty sure there's bergamot in here. Now they don't list Neroli as a note, but this is a Neroli scent to my nose, totally. It's like a, a tart, almost verging on sharp citrus, but there is a sweetness in here that stops it from again, smelling too masculine to my nose. But I really enjoy this and it lasts quite well on me. For a citrus scent, which I feel like oftentimes citrus scents have the notoriety of not lasting well on skin, but I'm really enjoying the performance of this Amalfi Sun right now. I only have, which size is this? This might be a 1.7, 1.35 flu fluid ounce. And I know they have a larger uh, version of this scent. Maybe it's like 3.4, maybe fluid ounce of this scent. I could see me running through this this summer. Maybe, let me not push it, maybe. <laughs> but this is one that I would wear when like, I want the scent, the citrus quality of the citrusness that I want to smell carry me out through longer than just a workout, you know what I mean? But yeah, so that's Amalfi Sunray. And the fragrance oil that I would bring with me would be Fresh Squeeze, and this is from Land of Oz. And to be honest, I don't even, I don't necessarily gravitate towards oils in like warmer weather just because it's like, Am I trying to cook my skin? But I feel like if I were to be doing something indoors or where I know it's not gonna be a particularly like sun's out kind of day, I wouldn't be afraid to wear an oil on myself, right? And, or even wear, put it on myself where my skin is not necessarily exposed. That could work too. But anyway, this is a citrusy, slightly sweet scent that 
has low projection to be honest. So I would probably see this as one if I'm just like chilling in the hotel room or something and I'm not planning on doing anything, but I want to feel like, you know, accomplished for at least bathing for that day. Yeah, so this is a good one for that. So the next category of fragrance is freshy. So this is not necessarily strictly limited to a citrus based scent, but when I think of a freshy, I think of something that smells like straight out of the shower. It smells like just clean. Um, not necessarily like anything clean in particular, but just like clean smelling. And the, f well, which one am I doing yet? Oh yeah, so we're gonna do the fragrance mist first. So the scent that I would bring that's a freshie, has fresh in the name, it's Fresh Getaway from Math & Body Works. Now this one is Bright Yuzu Citrus and Fresh Ocean Air. And this is a fresh scent that smells like quite luxurious to my nose. Whenever I wear this to like the gym, I feel like it just smells way more pricey than it actually is. And again, you could see, I be going, I be going. But like, this is one that I feel just smells so great. And you know, the fact that it has that ocean air note kind of ties into the whole vacation vibes. And I do really enjoy this scent because there is a slight sweetness to it too. So it's not, what I like about this is that, yeah, this could totally be worn by anyone, but I feel like it, it the fact that it has that sweetness to it helps it not lean too masculine to my nose. I think you can tell there's a trend here. There's gotta be some sweetness for me. <laughs> so the perfume that I would bring from my collection when I want a fresh scent on my vacation is, how do I say this again? L'Imperatrice 3, L'Imperatrice 3 from Dolce & Gabbana's anthology collection. And this is a watermelon kiwi rhubarb scent. So yes, it's fruity, but it's not like overly sweet in nature. And it has like watery vibes to it. So it's like quite aquatic in nature and it doesn't really smell, like I said, it's not super sweet, right? So it has like that agua fresca kind of vibe to it where it's just like water that has like fruits macerating in it a little bit. So it's like juicy, but not overly sweet. And I really like that about this. I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't compare it to like a shampoo personally, I feel like the Agua Fresca comparison is a lot closer to how this smells to my nose. And I feel like this is just an easy reach and it works so well on me in warm weather. And I'm sure for a lot of people, it's a very like kind of airy scent, but I think that's just with like the watery vibes in it. But this would be a for sure. I feel like this would be a for sure, no brainer bring with me on a vacation of the nature that I'm talking about. <laughs> and the perfume oil that I would bring would be Flirted Out from Land of Oz. I hope you can see, there you go. And this is one that like, again, doesn't have the strongest uh, projection. And this is also a an impression of Lush's Calacas, Calacas, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. So it's a lime scent but there's like a sweetness and a slight creaminess to it that I really do appreciate. And I feel like the lime in this is what makes it so unique because it's lime forward. And even though there's a sweetness, again, it doesn't smell like too sugary sweet, but just enough that I would feel like super fresh with it on, but still feel like myself, you know? And again, the projection, like I mentioned, isn't the most strong as most oils tend to be but like I said if I were gonna wear this it would be like either under my clothes or if I knew I wasn't gonna necessarily be like going spending the day in the Sun but that's just a personal preference so the next category is a sunscreen suntan lotion kind of scent and I've mentioned before that that kind of scent profile is one of my favorites and um, maybe it's because of where I live. I don't know. It's not like I really ever used suntan lotion before, but I do like how like a lot of sunscreens and sun, maybe I guess sunblock, maybe some sunblock has this kind of like, see sunscreen and sunblock kind of, when I say it out loud, I realize, yes, technically they do the same, but sunblock, I always think of it as like having a higher SPF than sunscreen, like sunscreen as something that's only just gonna be quite low in SPF, like you'll still get a tan, 
But sunblock is like, no, you, yeah, you'll get a tan, but we're trying to protect you still. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the fragrance mist that I want to share that features that kind of sunscreeny vibe is Billy's Tropical Cabana, and this is from Bath and Body Works. Now this is a banana daiquiri sand, right? But there's a sand note in here, there's pineapple too, but there's a sand note. And for whatever reason, I feel like I can actually like pick up on it and I'm here for it. This somehow does smell like some sort of like sunscreen or suntan lotion and I really like it. I'm not sure of any commercial uh, suntan lotions or sunscreens feature banana but I wouldn't be surprised because this smells so familiar to me and I really do enjoy how this smells because it's like that sweet creamy scent but also has like a beachiness to it awesome I love it so the perfume that I have that features that kind of sunscreen suntan lotion kind of vibe is let's get the name right utopia vanilla cocoa 21 from Kaoli. so I just have a little decant here of the scent and when I first tried the scent out I think I may have been verging on a nos is it a nosmia I was basically verging on being <clears throat> being nose blind because I had tried out the other quite a few fragrance fragrances from the range before I got to this one and I was just kind of not feeling it but I tried it out again later and I'm like oh wait I like this a lot because not only does it have like a suntan lotion kind of smell to it but there's that like sexy sweet spiciness like I guess the best way to put it would be like almost like a Middle Eastern kind of vibe to it which is so different to me at least and I feel like this would be one if I want to just like let's say I, I, I've never done this but let's just say I'm going to be wearing one of those swimsuits that are just specifically made to be worn to lounge in not to like do anything in I would probably put something like this on because I want to feel like extremely fancy <laughs> and uh yeah just bask in my fragrance all day I, I think this would be it let me spray a little bit on me yeah it's, it's really nice it's like I'm surprised at how my opinions of it change not entirely because that's just what happened right but yeah I would consider this as a yeah I would totally consider this one it kind of has again that like it reminds me of like a Barbie fragrance that I encountered as like a kid, right? But this is like sexy sunscreen. I like it. And the oil that features that like suntan lotion kind of vibe that I would bring if I if I were to bring one would be Hawaiian Vanilla. And this is from Demeter Fragrance Library. And this is like a sweet creamy scent that features like tropical notes. And I feel that it's the underlying vibe to it that makes it remind me of suntan lotion. And I will say all the fragrances I share with you today, for one reason or another, some of the fragrances kind of carry over to different categories, but that's just the nature of not only my collection, but also the kinds of fragrances that I feel would be the most, make the most sense for me to bring with me. Cause again, I guess it would work, right? Because if I'm bringing scents that could fit into different categories, that means less bottles to bring right i guess <laughs> all right so now we're moving on to the tropical scent so these are like tropical in the sense of it being like fruity tropical for the most part so for the fragrance mist i have two to be quite honest i have two because i couldn't pick and the first is fiji sunshine guavatini and i really do enjoy the scent it's so juicy and sweet and like awesome <laughs> it's like it smells like exactly like how the name implies i'm pretty sure there are floral notes in here too right but there's just like a juicy sweetness to it which and it's like a playfulness as well that i think would be perfect perhaps if i was doing something maybe a little bit more casual that day um this would be the pick but if i wanted to do something a little bit more elevated and wanted to feel maybe a little bit more fancy with a fragrance mist my choice would be hibiscus paradise and i really do enjoy this fragrance this also features a note of guava but there's what is it uh coconut as well as hibiscus and i really do enjoy this i think i may be kind of 
perhaps a little biased when it comes to like tropical smelling scents just because of the region I live in, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I really do like this. It's like, it is sweet, right? And it has like, uh, but it has a warmth to it that I think makes it different from Fiji Sunshine Guava Tini because that one is more like juicy. But to me, even though it says juicy guava, this one just smells more like warm and perhaps a little bit more elevated to my nose. And I like it a lot. And the perfume I would bring is none other than Fleur de la Passion from Fragonard. I will link the video of me sharing my thoughts on this fragrance. But this is a passion fruit, mango, juicy, sweet, sour, delicious scent that I feel like, yes, it has that tropical vibe to it, but it also has that fresh cleanness to it, which I think would work perfectly, you know, since if I had to dumb down my list of, I'm getting mad like someone's asking me to do this, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, this would be the one I bring. And I don't think this is necessarily one that, I mean, I could spray heavy, right? This would be one that, depending on what I'm doing, I would adjust how heavy I go, like how heavy handed I am with the nozzle. Because a light spray, this would be a super fun, like, oh, just chilling in the hotel room or doing something perhaps indoors. But going a little heavy handed, I could see this being one I would wear like um, in, an, in the evening as like a going out scent but I would just have to spray a little bit more and make sure I hit those pulse points. So the fragrance oil I would bring with me is Angel Eau Crocier from Mugler, and this is an impression of that scent. And I can't remember which year this is, but this is the one that features that mango note, like a mango and grapefruit note. And this is good. It's like sweet, but also has that tartness to it, which I find very appealing. And again, it does have a warmth to it. There may be praline in this particular scent and that may be what's lending to that vibe. But yeah, this is an awesome one that I would totally see me bringing. Actually, I think these two would layer pretty well together. So last up, we have the Sexy Beach category. So these are scents that I feel have like a, a beachy vibe to them, even if it may not be so obvious. And, um, I guess you would just see why. <laughs> so the first one that I have is a mist, but it's from Brazilian Crush, and this is Chirosa 40. So this is the, uh, a plum and vanilla scent. Now, that may not necessarily scream summer vacation vibes, but to me, this is one that I feel like is so friggin' sexy. And I could just see this being like a date night on vacation kind of scent. And what I do appreciate is the fact that it also doubles as a hair mist, so you can get that all over vibe. But there's something that makes it smell beachy to me. I don't, let me see the notes. So there's black amber plum, creme de cassis, maybe that, because it's featured in like mixed drinks, maybe, I don't know. Uh, jasmine blooms, Brazilian orchid, vanilla woods, and warm musk. Child, I don't know, but this, this is a very sexy one. And let me see what it says. Yeah, this just smells like a, a sexy night out or a sexy night in on vacation. Yeah, I like this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And the perfume that I would bring with me to give me that like sexy beachy vibe is none other than Olympia from Paco Rabanne. So this is a salty vanilla scent that I think is so sexy. There's that jasmine in here as well. And I feel like this is one that I would, yeah. I, I could see me totally bringing this if I could only bring, mm, was I gonna be bold? I think so. If I only had to bring one, no! If I had to bring three cents, this would definitely be in that group of three. <laughs> I can say that with confidence. <laughs> but yeah, this is a sexy one. I have I find that this is one that is, for me, easy to wear, but also easy to wear for different occasions, but I'm still gonna smell sexy no matter what I'm doing. And I like that. I like it a lot because that saltiness kind of like evokes that like beachy aquatic vibe. Whereas the vanilla and the jasmine to me add that like sexiness that I really do like. And for the perfume oil, I would bring with me my impression of Mancera's Coco Vanille. And this is an impression by Fragrant Body Oils. And this is a coconut vanilla tropical floral 
scent, so sweet. This is actually, even though this is an oil, the performance on this is stellar. It's, I wouldn't say it's loud, but it is strong and I don't need a lot of it. And I just feel like not only is this one, I feel like it does have that sunscreeny kind of vibe to it as well. But like, to me, this is sexy. This is like, I'm on vacation and I feel amazing. And I want all of you to smell me and to know that I'm here. Yeah, this is, I love this so much. This is one that I feel like is a transportive scent. Like I feel like this scent is one that I feel like takes me on vacation for real for real okay guys so yes that is my compilation for you now i'm curious to see if you guys have like a a game plan when it comes to taking fragrances with you on vacation i i do have a semi game plan so kind of like how i mentioned with having like categories but i also use um what them things called atomizers like those travel size atomizers to put fragrances in uh, to carry with me. And I also use travel sprays, those come in handy. But I'm curious to see what you guys do when it comes to like going on vacation. And if you haven't been on like a beach vacation before, what do you envision yourself taking with you? Because I really wanna know what it's like from the outside. <laughs> so if you liked today's video, please give this video a like. And if you would like to see more content from me and you're not subscribed already, why don't you go and subscribe to me? And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you later. Bye. Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a fragrance and flavor enthusiast. Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a fragrance and flavor enthusiast. Hey. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a fragrance and Fragrance, fragrance. So today, uh, we're gonna play pretend a little bit, even though this isn't really a game. <laughs> yeah, I have three fragrances. Hmm? Bye.